Hi there, welcome to Funding by Alex. Today I would like to talk to you about the AI craze. So you've heard so much about it. Uh, everybody's pivoting to AI. Should you go into AI? Should you use it? Of course you should, but how? That's what I'm going to answer today in this video. So let's back it up with some data. The uh, AI funding trend at this moment is, of course, that AI startups are far more popular than non-AI startups. You see 2020 to 2024. And 2025 was, of course, mimicking uh, 2024. Uh, it's even more extreme where everything has to be AI. Even if you look at, uh, you know, this trend, should you artificially work AI into your uh, startup pitch or into your startup? I think every company in the world is these days actually using AI in some form or should use AI in some form. If you haven't, uh, you're really missing out on something because basically what it does, and it, it's automating uh, tasks that normally would take longer or would take more manpower, basically. And, uh, you know, that's something that you just save time. Time is actually, I think, the currency here uh, that uh, is really uh, saved with uh, the use of AI. Yeah? There's a lot of efficiency uh, uh, issues. Is it something that, you know, you should really artificially uh, bolt onto your startup? No, of course not, but I'll go into that in a moment. So what does AI really mean for startups? So you have to change the narrative. So the narrative before was yeah, focused on uh, different metrics. If you look at uh, uh, startups actually looking at the story, the origin story, so how are you going to disrupt the industry with something? Yeah, we talk about tech startups or startups that actually, you know, uh, trying to displace some sort of incumbent or corporate uh, foe, uh, um, opponent that they are trying to, uproot basically and AI in this case can be one of the things that really helps startups. Startups are by definition more lean and mean so to speak. Um, corporates are slower to also adopt this sort of uh, technology and it has of course uh, due to the scale of larger operations eh, where processes maybe are a bit more archaic. Uh, you can design something from ground up at this moment with AI. So the change in narrative is definitely there that when you're pitching to investors, you actually need to work it into your narrative. Now, the fund, funding focus, of course, like you saw, it changes from other sectors to um, yeah, AI, uh, yeah, the AI startup basically, or AI uh, startups, yeah, startups that use AI basically, or uh, use AI in a big way, so to speak. Um, you will find that without AI in your uh, pitches, actually, you will have harder time to get meetings that of course are startup uh, uh, backers eh, or startup investors actually that still of course invest without uh, in, in yeah startups without AI but um, having said that yeah everybody will need to use AI and I think it's also a yeah easier way to disrupt uh, things eh? if you look at um, looking at uh, AI or adding AI to especially things that are menial tasks basically um, but that also really gives you the uh, message here that you should add AI where it matters. Yeah? So not becoming some sort of hype or some sort of sci-fi thing with, you know, in the roadmap is like this and we are looking at AI and it will automate everybody and all humans will be super superfluous and all those things. You're talking about maybe that might happen in the future, but you're talking about adding AI where it matters. Yeah, so rather than saying, okay, I have an idea, let me work in AI in some way in order to make it more spicy or more interesting, while actually it's not at the core of the um, of the idea and really adding it where it matters, where it really makes a difference. I'll go into some uh, examples in a moment. Then, of course, you need to reframe your pitch deck to actually reflect it. Can be one slide basically where you are adding AI as a you know a feature. So how are you going to use AI to uh, in your idea? So just to give you an idea with regards to examples of AI integration. Um, so if you're software as a service uh, for logistics, for example, you can use AI for routing. For FMCG, you could use AI for demand planning, and for e-commerce, you could use AI for personalization. So these are really Areas where AI can make a difference, um, where it actually makes it easier for you to do things that used to be done manually, and maybe also smarter in this way. So in this case, yeah? AI is actually nothing more than 
finding patterns, uh, just like humans find patterns. Eh? There's always, I think, if you look at 80s sci-fi movies that uh, they used to say the brain is a computer and the idea of actually computers at some point uh, taking over, yeah, uh, or being as smart as, as, as uh, humans, basically, yeah, where you always saw like computers, uh, uh, this, that's very space, uh, 2000 Space Odyssey, um, uh, Space Odyssey, basically, with um, Arthur C. Clarke as the uh, author. That is, of course, where a computer is actually smarter than humans, or at least uh, thinking like a human. Now, we're not there yet, but we're getting we're getting closer to uh, human-like behavior. So, in the end, you're talking about AI is um, something where, you know, I would basically say like it um, covers everything that you are organizing uh, for yourself. Eh? I use it more as an organizing tool where, um, you know, cover me uh, with regards to ideas, basically uh, ideas that I probably would need a long time to actually think of, uh, since my brain capacity is also limited, uh, more limited than a computer, obviously, or the AI model that I'm using. Um, it might actually have a broad that can actually take everything from uh, public sources, basically, where it um, yeah, amalgamates basically the information and then comes to a solution. Now, AI is as good as the prompt. So in the end, uh, if you have, you know, let's say, make me a pitch deck for a startup, then AI will, of course, uh, generate a rundown, uh, very generic. So uh, if you are an expert, if you say, look, you have actually a use AI to generate a pitch deck for you, then, um, of course, you need to be specific. Eh? You need to describe what you want to have in it, uh, and it will probably suggest a few things that you might want to add uh, based on all the information that's available to it. So, you know, AI is not replacing humans. It's more augmenting humans at this moment. So you're talking about uh, these examples of AI in integration where uh, it really makes sense for investors. Eh? Investors really want to know uh, really what you're going to do with it rather than I'm going to use AI to actually do everything. Um, it's a similar thing to, let's say, I'm in the Netherlands, so Dutch government, uh, the new Dutch government actually was uh, using AI also as a, uh, uh, you know, stopgap solution for everything. Every plan that they didn't think through yet, basically, or any anything they didn't have a solution for yet, they were basically saying AI will, you know, we will use innovation and AI for uh, something like that eh, to solve it. So in the end, it's not something something that um, works like that in that sense. So it's very general and you need to be very specific. So I'll go into uh, details in a moment. So when you adjust your pitch, you need to basically be very specific. So don't hype it. Don't do sci-fi stuff. Do, you know, stay very clear on real problems, focus on real problems that you can solve with this. So um, in essence, uh, it's as good, like I said, as the uh, problem it solves, basically. And you need to focus on uh, ROI, so return on investment at the, at the core of your AI pitch. So uh, what is it actually going to bring? So how much I'm going to save? How much efficiency am I going to achieve? Uh, what is actually the return on the investment? And of course, that also means that AI is a feature, it's not the identity. So some uh, startups actually are really taking it too far in that sense where we are an AI startup. So no, you're not actually, you are, let's say a software as a service startup for logistics, but you're using AI in a big way to solve problems. So it's part of your value proposition, part of the problem solving basically where you apply AI to use that. So. Um, the thing is that, you know, if you want to have advice on how AI could possibly, you know, be worked into your uh, into your pitch deck, how you actually can use AI for your startup, definitely would like to uh, offer my services, offer my advice also. Feel free to reach out. I will uh, post my uh, contact details in the next slide. You can visit our website, goldendragoncapital.co. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, if you like the uh, video. 
uh, follow us on Facebook, we have a LinkedIn page, we have an Instagram page. So we have uh, basically uh, every type of social media to follow and, uh, and connect with us. Uh, if you want to send me an email, alex at goldendragoncapital.co, please feel free to reach out uh, without actually the fear that the meter will start running. I'd love to help people. Um, of course, uh, if you need advice and you want to actually run a project, a consultancy project, I'm also open for that. Feel free to reach out and ask me anything about AI in your startup or in your corporate setting. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.